because I wouldn't want to walk. I want to be held all the time. And then those carriers. Right? What a great yeah. answer. Won't have to do anything. What a great answer. <laughs> I love it. Um, so cute. Okay, so Amy Oselkin is coming out. And since we have a little extra time with her, we're going to ask her the same question. Amy Oselkin, if you were a breed of dog, what would it be? Well, I grew up with my Basset Hound. Her uh -huh. name was Garlic. <laughs> And we fed her um, literally so much that she was so fat that her stomach just touched the ground. And she just was living the life, eating bagels and steak. And just my dad literally, like she ate better than the children Who of my family. named her? We adopted her when she was three years old uh -huh. from Venice Beach. And um, they said, you know, you could name her something that rhymes with garlic, like her hearing, I guess, wasn't that good. So you could do scarlet. And we were like, no way, garlic. Like she's totally garlic. <laughs> that was my childhood doggy. I love yeah. it. Yeah, <laughs> it's so great. <laughs> anyway, so I asked Amy to come by because there's um, a trend right now that's been going on just as we've been forecasting fall that I wanted to hop on and share with you guys. Anything lace up is really happening. Mm -hmm. And these are an adorable lace up leather boot from Clark's from their bendables collection. But the big call out is what happens around the Trapunto stitched cuff mm, of the boot, yes. because what looks like a cute little British inspired kind of refined hiking boot has a plaid knit flannel cuff yeah these are a top rated boot you love them the reviews are off the charts mm -hmm. five star and we've sold 60,000 pairs in both medium and wides they're in the show today because you can try them for 21 dollars worth of easy pay until midnight so girl first things first could you take us through the tour of colors yes so there you have the black which i mean the best part is you all we all need a black boot but with that flannel pop it takes it to the next level then you have the navy, just a go-to, great color. Cute. How fabulous. Cute, cute, cute. Okay. Deep brown, which is a nice chocolatey brown. Yep. Charcoal, which is a, a, a true gray. Um, and I own the charcoal. I treat it like how I'd wear my black shoes. I just, you know, a little something different. Yep. And then the burgundy, which to me is a neutral. Anything that you would, you know, wear black with, you wear burgundy with and you look like a million bucks. So there's a, I see British, I see mm -hmm. military, I see a little Ooh, I combat see that. Mm -hmm. And when you guys get a glimpse of Sheila, you will begin to understand part of what this movement is in this kind of category of footwear. Because whereas I think a lot of people, Amy, think of this as like a legging um, right. kind of look, mm -hmm. the thing that a lot of designers are showing, which I think is just fresh, is that they're putting a boot like this with dress and with skirt. Yeah. And like, how fabulous is that? Yep. First of all, you gotta be comfortable, mm -hmm. but you also are doing edgy with a, tw a twist. Sheila still looks feminine. She, she, she looks work appropriate. She looks going out appropriate, but she is so comfortable. This is a style that actually fits like a shoe. Yep. So instead of, you know, rocking a high heel boot where you're kind of like, is this gonna be comfortable? What am I gonna feel like at five in the afternoon? you're gonna be comfortable. And of course, Amanda has it cuffed, which is so cute because that Darling. shows off the flannel. Yep, so cute. Now, the big story behind Clark's, aside from the fact that they're, they are a British brand that's been around since the 1800s. Yep, 1825. So this is a pedigreed brand and a heritage brand, but more and more as years pass, they're really taking heritage technologies, heritage shoemaking, and taking them and translating them into really fashion footwear. And so here we are with a story to tell you about these because they're bendables and they also have something called cushion soft technology. Yes. So these are bendables, meaning they are truly broken in for you the second you get it home. Look in your closet and see how many boots do you have that did that the second you stepped into them that felt like your favorite boot that felt like your favorite shoe or sandal the second you stepped in we have those external flex grooves that expand with every step and at the same time you have internal flex grooves that are compressing so again no nothing stiff nothing hard you get in and you go plus it's not going to clomp along like that i have i still have this boot and i kept them because my grandma got them for me and i just i can't part with them but i look at them and I'm like, I'll never wear them again because I remember how stiff they were. That's not gonna happen with the Whistle B. Plus you have that softness inside, so it feels so good. Layers of cushioning, 
but our customers, oh, here's the layers of cushioning. So again, it's that ortholite memory foam footbed that's absorbing the shock, that's giving you that long lasting support. But it's the zipper that is bringing everyone. I read all the reviews, which are so lovely. It because makes they, me so you, happy. You, without the zipper, you're you're married to the whole. I've got to unlace <laughs> them and relace them, and that is a lot of work. It is too if much. If you're going to wear them quite it's a bit, it's just too much. So yes, lace them, set them how you'd like them, and the as it gets cooler, put those thick socks with them, make them a little looser, but then zip in and out of this. Great. You don't have to do anything. So great for mm -hmm. people that live places, Amy, that don't get full inclement weather, right. full snow, full freezing cold. You know, this is a great um, boot for fall winter. And I will <laughs> also just call out, you know, how many boots, because you think of boots as having very thick lug soles, how many boots can do that? Can you make a right? I mean, show? it's super, <laughs> it's, I know it's a little silly, but little. I'm just saying it's incredibly, they're all leather. <laughs> It's incredibly comfortable. May I also just draw your attention to the fact that the easy pay expires at the end of the day. And these are a beloved little trending style, both in fashion, but also within the Clarks brand. So they are a top find on our day. And what you'll wanna do is choose either medium or wides. Um, and also keep in mind too, you know, as you see the girls with their leggings, but also their skirts and their dresses and their bare legs. You'll start wearing them now. So true. And I love I love fall. It's my favorite time of the year. Me too. Especially living on the East Coast where you really get to experience fall. And my birthday's in fall, so I'm like, of course. <laughs> but I love the fashion. Uh, I love really layering with the scarves mm -hmm. and the textures. We put that texture in the boot. We gave you that flannel collar. We've actually done this style in suede. We've done it all leather. But we thought, how can we pop it? How can we make it a little more unique and a little different. And it's that amazing collar. It's a pillow row stitch. So instead of just doing like a flat piece of fabric, we actually quilted it and embroider it into the design. And again, that's what makes the outfit to me, especially if you're someone who isn't that into accessories, you don't have to worry. This acts as an accessory. By the way, I'm putting, I'm slipping these on because we have a Barefoot Dreams poncho. I love, which I love. That I ordered in two colors right. before I came on air. And I just want to give you an idea of like how cute Ooh. I think this concept is mm -hmm. with a little bare leg. I also want to call out, um, Amy, that I believe we have, don't we have some pictures of you wearing these? Oh yeah, these? I've worn these. Oh, here's a good oh, old Ben on. Franklin. Oh. Why shouldn't he be in my photo? Uh, where um, is this in Philly? That, yeah, we totally did a walking tour of Philadelphia. Wow, and you bumped Ooh. into Ben Franklin. I, I was like, hey, buddy, where have you been? <laughs> um, and <laughs> uh, meanwhile, Clarks was probably still around when he was around. Um, and then this was at the zoo. Dylan is so big now. That's when he was little. But again, walking at the zoo, walking around Philadelphia during during a tour, checking out the flamingos. How the funny thing is, that's those? my pose now. Like yep. whenever I'm asked to pose, I just strut a flamingo pose, and then it was just funny that the flamingos happen to be in the background. <laughs> <laughs> but look at how cute these are with this little I kind of like it. poncho coming up. This is transition. <laughs> this is certainly now. But then, right. you know, you could wear a cute little, you could layer some thick mm -hmm. fall pattern print socks. Um, you know, obviously Textured on the screen. Tights. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my printed mm -hmm. tights. Ooh, fun. Fun tights, colors. Mm -hmm. But Amy, um, you know, Amy's been bringing us Clarks here to QVC, and we often get women, Amy, who call in and say all the Clarks that they wear they get from QVC because we have things like Easy Pay, and also I just can't help but look at the screen in the knowledge that normally at a Clarks store these would be over $110. Right. So here they're $86. Mm -hmm. And look at the detail, the construction. We're known for our contrast stitch at Clark's. So that's what's really kind of popping the leather. That zipper, when you get it home, you'll be like, thank you so much. And I also want to give a nod to our engineers and the placement of the zipper. You see, it's actually not all the way down. That means if you do get caught in a little bit of rain or you know, even a light snowfall, the zipper opening's high enough. It's not necessarily going to hit. Mm -hmm. These are treated prior to coming out, but if you 98% water resistant, but if you want to give them a good little bit of Scotch Guard spray before, yep. just to be safe, I recommend it. Mm, they're so great. So there's a navy, mm -hmm. a deep brown, a black, um, a burgundy, mm -hmm. and then where is the charcoal, honey? This Can I is put the that? gray. Yeah. May I put that? Mm -hmm. Let's put all the dark charcoal. Yeah. There you go. 
so you can just see the compare and the contrast. Yeah, so, and I maybe put it next to the navy yeah, so you sure, can sure. really see because they're, those are, I would say, of the bunch, the s most similar, but even look at those laces. We did tonal laces, creating, again, I know, we called it here cabin chic, and I kind of love that. I because do. it takes me to that cabin with the fun little oversized flannel and the cute little boyfriend jean, yep. and then just your hot cocoa, just sitting by a fire, like, let's go now, even though it's still Looking like 90 degrees. Looking effortlessly glampy. Yeah. Glampy. Mm -hmm. With your cool, I, I want to say eyeglasses. Of I course. mean, you would be so. Thank you. Let's do a photo shoot. You know what my friend <laughs> Angelo, who's a stylist yes. here at QVC, would call it? What? He would call this rustic realness. Oh, I rustic love that. Rustic realness. Oh, yeah. It's true, though, because, right. and I was, not that this has anything to do with what we're discussing. <laughs> Last night I was watching a marathon of tiny house hunting. Oh, and how those did rustic they get tiny them houses. So tiny? Oh, my God. And they're, a, they're kind of really expensive. You might as well. I, I, don't understand it. I guess living in studio apartment for eight years, I'm like, why would you choose to live in a tiny place? <laughs> All right, so listen, these are a beloved, beloved Ooh. fox boot. And another great um, opportunity for you to think outside the box when it comes to boots for fall and an ankle boot silhouette. So girl, thanks. Thank you. Um, so here's the deal. We've got what I'm wearing coming up, which is a little poncho from Barefoot Dreams. We've got Geely Jill back with a crossbody bag. And then this is kind of an interesting